So as dramatic as that may have seemed to you guys, there's been times, and if you have been in the same boat, you know exactly what I'm talking about, where I've lost like a phone or like a wallet or something, something important and of value, and it sucks, man. Which is why I'm happy to report that Apple has actually done quite a few things in order to make sure that we don't lose our stuff, and if we do, then it's easier for us to find it. So we're gonna talk about a few of those things today. Firstly, let's talk about Find My. It's an app that Apple has kind of, you know, it's had before, but recently it's improved it. It's kind of aggregated all its devices and all its tracking into that one app. Now, when you go into Find My, you're gonna see all the devices that you've logged in with your Apple ID, and it's gonna be able to show you on a map and track where each of these devices are. This is really helpful. And in case if, let's say, you were to lose like an iPad or a Mac or a phone or anything like that, then it's gonna be able to use the data in order to relay to you where exactly the last location found for this particular device was. If you guys have heard of Tile before, the way it works is it kind of just relays off of other tiles that may be around uh, and it will relay that signal to you. The good thing about Apple devices, it kind of does the same thing. Unlike Tile, the network for Apple devices is vast, especially if you're living in North America or Europe or any place like that, there are a lot of Apple devices out and about. Now let's quickly jump into the app and see exactly how it looks like and what we're expected to find inside. The moment I jump in here, you're gonna see all my devices kind of jump around. I can see my AirPods on here, my iMac, my iPhone, my Apple Watch and everything. And you can click on any particular device to bring it up. Now the cool thing here is Apple even allows you to uh, basically play a sound. So if I was to press this button, it's gonna play a sound on my Apple Watch. It's doing it. You can then click on directions and try to basically follow it on the map to where exactly your Apple Watch is. You can set up notifications for when it is found. And you can even activate mark as lost. Now when you mark as lost, you'll see here, you'll be notified when it is found. There's an activation lock, which I briefly mentioned initially. Now the good thing about activation lock is any of your devices, like an iPhone or a MacBook or an Apple Watch or pretty much most Apple devices, you're gonna be able to activation lock it, which means anybody who steals it won't be able to use it unless and until they know your Apple ID, your password, and they're able to log in. Now, the chances of that happening are far, far less considering somebody has just stolen like your iPhone or your Apple Watch that you left on the train. It's gonna lock your Apple Watch, so there's gonna be a passcode required, and then your Apple Watch will be protected, so all your payment methods and everything like that will all be suspended immediately. So let's say you have Apple Pay on your Apple Watch or on your iPhone or on your MacBook, Apple Pay is canceled. Like nobody can use any of the cards or anything like that, it's suspended immediately. That way your wallet is secured. And last but not least, it will leave a phone number and a message displayed on the screen. So anybody who does find your device, it's gonna be able to come back to you and let you know that, hey, look, I found, I found your device. Another super helpful feature is the last option here, which is you can basically erase your device. Now, this is really handy because sometimes you might have personal information on your phone or watch or anything like that. You can remotely just delete everything. So the moment that device is turned on, it's just gonna start wiping everything on there. It will still have your activation lock, so they still can't use it. Um, they will have to return it to you in order for the phone to be used again, but it also wipes everything, all your data, so that you are secured. Now, there are not a lot of devices out there in the world that have this much support, which is why Find My is one of the best apps and applications Apple has developed, in my opinion. Um, it works really well, and you don't really realize the value for it until you have actually lost something. So hopefully you guys don't have to figure this stuff out, but you know, when it does come in handy, 
it comes in handy. Now, another thing you can do in this app is you're gonna notice you have people. Now, you might have a few people on here, like let's say your spouse or your family members or your kids or anybody that you wanna add here um, and give each other permission, then you can see where somebody is at any given time. So let's say you have like really small kids or anything like that, then you wanna make sure that you know where your kids are at all times. Then if they have any Apple device, then you can kind of just add them here and that way you guys can keep tabs on each other. And last but not least, you also have this new tab here, which has been added recently called items. Now items is basically where all your third party uh, items that have Find My Support as well as AirTags live. They're basically tracking devices that you can clip onto your keys or throw it into your backpack or anything like that. And it will do the same thing. It'll allow you to find that particular item using the tracker. So all in all, I'm really impressed with what Apple has done with the Find My app and how it has secured the entire ecosystem. And honestly, I think that's one of the benefits of being within Apple's ecosystem um, because it allows you to have greater control and greater stability with all your devices that are inside that ecosystem. In any case, I will be doing a video on AirTags and how they work and everything like that. So if you're interested, make sure you guys sub to the channel. If you found this video beneficial and helpful and you enjoyed it, then please go ahead and give this video a like, share it with your friends and family so they know what's up and just sub to the channel. It takes like two seconds. Just do it.